Okay, so when you first take the sensor off of the arm or wherever it is you have your Dexcom uh, placed at on your body, you're going to peel off the sticker, which is this, preferably with some coconut oil or something, and then you peel it off, the whole thing comes off like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to take this off of the plastic because usually you will save this. It's a gray transmitter that says Dexcom G6 and it snaps off. So I'm gonna set up my phone so that you could see me snap it off. So there's a wider side and there's a skinnier side. The wider says, side has a little like indent in it. So you put your thumb or finger on the top of the plastic piece here that's on top of the wider side and you just pull that little plastic piece back. If you pull it backwards, it's just going to snap right in half like that. So I'll show you again. Put your finger on top of this plastic piece up here on top and then you pull it back and it snaps in half. It comes apart really easy. So now you have your transmitter and this was the sensor. So the plastic piece is called the sensor. So this gets thrown away. The transmitter is what you usually will reuse. So you'll clean it with an alcohol swab and you'll swab it all around so it's nice and clean so that you can put on a new sensor. But in this case, Today, I have a brand new transmitter because these things only last a couple of months. Then the battery inside of them dies. So I have a new transmitter to put on. So I'm going to throw this transmitter away because the insulin pump had already been telling me. It had been alerting me that the transmitter life was dying. So I'm going to throw this away. This is the box it comes in. So then it comes in a smaller box inside. And that's the transmitter. Other than that, it just has pamphlets and stuff inside. It'll um, probably teach you how to use the, the transmitter. So I'm going to take the transmitter out of the box. And each transmitter has its own serial number on the back of the transmitter as well as on the box. And this is important because you're going to need to put the new serial number inside of the insulin pump in the settings. So I'll show you that. Whenever they haven't been wearing a Dexcom sensor on their body for more than 24 hours. The screen of the insulin pump will go back to looking like this with three um, circles that say one, two, three in the front because it has no BG to show. So we got to go into options and then we got to push the arrow down I'm trying to get this to focus you got to go to my CGM which is the first choice and then the very bottom says transmitter ID right there and that number right there says the old transmitter ID number so I have to click that so that I can enter the new transmitter ID number 
and this one is 8PY18K. So this time around, I actually had to order a single sensor. This is the sensor because uh, Jerry finished his sensor refills before it was time to get another refill. So I went online, bought a single sensor for $120. And so this is the box it comes in. This is the sensor. Dexcom G6 sensor. This is it. So you peel it back. Break off this little top part here. Because this is what you're going to push. And when you're ready to stick it on the skin, you're going to peel these two stickers off because this is the sticky part underneath. So do it right when you are ready to place it onto the skin because you have to apply it straight to his arm. And then you save this little piece so that you don't lose this number because this number also has to get put into the insulin pump. Okay, so I've peeled off the papers and this is where I'm going to apply it at. It's on there nice and sticky. And then you just push this down and just take it straight off. It's on there. This is what it looks like after you've taken it off. I've already wiped the brand new transmitter down with alcohol. So what you do is you're gonna place the skinnier side in first, which is the bottom piece, which is the part that says Dexcom G6. So I'm trying to get the right lighting. So you're gonna just kind of put the little lip, there's a little lip right here, place it into the little plastic piece that's called the sensor. Place the little lip in there, and then you just push, and you hear it snap right in. Make sure that it's in there nice and secure. And now we go back to the pump. And we're going to go back to options. Push the arrow down, go to my CGM, because this is the CGM that we're dealing with, which stands for continued glucose monitor. And we're going to hit start sensor. And it's going to ask you for the code of the sensor, which is this number that came on the sensor. So this is the number for the sensor. You're going to hit code because you have a code to enter. 7171. And then click check mark. Code confirmed. And then it asks you, you are ready to start your CGM session. New sensor readings will display on your home screen. Start sensor. Yes, and it takes two hours to start up. So now we're back at the screen that it usually is on when it's on home screen, which looks like this, where it has the options and the bolus buttons on the bottom. It has the chart right here in the middle. The amount of insulin that it currently has is on the top right-hand corner. The percentage of the battery is on the top left hand corner. Insulin on board is down here, which right now it's at zero units is on board right now. And then over here, it's the warm up session right now. You can't really tell, but it has a green little 
piece on this circle that you see here and when the green goes fills the whole entire circle it's done and it'll start showing you a number right here which would be the blood glucose reading so we have to wait two hours for it to start showing a number right here you it says three hours six hours 12 hours okay so usually you will only have to enter every time you put a new sensor on which ideally ideally should be every 10 days they last up to 10 days but of course sometimes they fall off sooner and so usually you should only have to enter the sensor code number which is going to be on the little sticker that you peeled off of the sensor but every couple of months when the transmitter needs to be renewed you're going to have to also enter the transmitter number which is the little gray box that i showed you earlier that goes with the sensor so today we entered both transmitter code and sensor codes.